What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Rent and Review. We are back. We have returned to our reaction videos for Death Note, the classic anime series from 2016-2017, heralded by many as the greatest anime of all time. It's debatable for many, many people. It is up there for me. Um, and we are on episode six this week. And we're going to see where everything caught up from the last time we watched this was over a month ago because we were doing other reaction videos. Walking Dead kind of interfered with this, but we're going to go on through the rest of Death Note now. Uh, the last episode, Ray Pember, the worst FBI agent in the history of the world, uh, met his comeuppance because of light. So now we're going to see uh, his his girlfriend. You know, she's, she knows some stuff. Maybe she's going to be the downfall of light or at least lead Elle in the right direction. We'll see. Uh, before we get into it, though, of course, I want to remind you guys, this being social media, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and definitely hit the notification bell if you're on YouTube to uh, be notified next time I have a reaction video for Death Note. Unraveling. Mm. Oh, God. L's feet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <sighs> I was like an anim anime, everybody grunts all the time. Uh, Matsuda. I'm Aizawa. Mogi. Yukita. I'm very sorry we're late. Currently, the five of us are... Bang! Uh, uh, what the... If I were Kira, you'd be dead, Mr. Soichiro Yaganichi of the MP. Kira needs a face and a name in order to commit murder. But I'm sure you've already figured that much out, haven't you? Please do not give out your name so carelessly. Instead, let's value our lives. I knew that he needed a face to kill someone, but I don't remember any evidence that showed that he needed a name, too. There's no way to verify if this is related, but criminals whose names were never released publicly or whose names were spelled incorrectly in the media have not been targeted. We briefly went over it at one of our meetings. So, uh, well, well, wait a minute. If the chief knew this, then he wasn't, I guess he's not, wasn't quick enough to pick up on this. And he went and they gave their IDs. I was making a good point. If you're, you're, giving, you're, you're dealing with a case with a guy who can kill you and you're not really sure how he does it. All you know is that he can see a face and, and for all you know, a name. Why would you go around just giving your, your real name to random people? It's a good point by L here. Kira is childish, and he hates losing. But how do you... Just what do you mean? Well, I'm also childish, and I hate to lose. That's how I know. <laughs> Hello, L. Ryuzaki. Ryuzaki, you sorry. Being a little more specific for us. Early on in the investigation, I tried to provoke Kira with that broadcast. Up until then, we thought that Kira would only go after criminals. But as we all witnessed, he didn't hesitate to kill my stand-in. Also, as soon as I said we knew he was in the Kanto region, in defiance, he made sure his next victims came from within Japan, as if to say, and what are you going to do about it? Yeah. He's met each of my challenges head on, and he's never missed an opportunity to return the favor. Now, what do you think would happen if we tried to use media restrictions to hide criminals from someone like that? I guess... If you choose to withhold the names of your worst criminals, I'll kill petty criminals or the innocent. I'm holding the whole world hostage, so who's it gonna be? I'm not the evil one here, but all those who oppose me by hiding criminals, you are truly evil. Well, oh, that's exactly how Kira feels. I hate feet. Well, so Al's got this pretty much right here. He's uh he's reading what Kira would do because he's very much like Kira or light. Well, he doesn't know it's light. Um, but they're, they're alike. They're mirror, again, they're supposed to be opposite or mirror images of each other. Um, and you know, one wonders what would happen if L had gotten a death note and when he was younger and, uh, light was the detective. In any case, let's look at another way we can use the media to draw him out. But how? That will cause him to take some kind of drastic action. Oh. That's interesting. So he'll think there are 1500 when there are really only seven of us. And since none of these investigators exist, Kira won't be able to kill them. It just might work. Well, before we celebrate, I'll tell you the rest of my thoughts on the Kira case. Ooh. Oh, a little s s snotty there, Al. He had 
access to all our classified information. What evidence do you have that he's working alone? Hold on, Aizawa. Let's listen to his entire theory before asking questions. Yeah, shut up. We know he needs a name and a face to kill. And to some extent, he can control a victim's time of death and their actions before dying. Hmm. We already know that much. Please keep that in mind. And listen carefully to what I have to say next. On December 14th, 12 FBI investigators enter Japan. Hmm. Here we are on December 19th. Using prison inmates, Kira conducts experiments manipulating his victims' actions before they die. Right. In other words, during this window of only five days, Kira became aware of the FBI's presence and obviously felt threatened. Because he didn't know any of their names or faces, he was at a disadvantage. He needed to know how much control he had over his victims before he could use it against the 12 agents. And as we all know, on December 27th, I got a hold of a file which contained all the names and faces of the FBI investigators in Japan. Yes, because Ray Pember sucks. Killing each one of them. It's practically impossible to guess which agent gave the file to Kira. Nah, not really. I have to make sure that no one ever finds out that I Yeah, like a bunch of people saw you with that guy. Ryuk! How come you're not using the death note today? You studying for those entrance exams? This is the least of my worries. Plus, it's a little late to start now. Uh huh? What you doing? December 19th to December 27th. Wow. I've been most active during They're most like figuring the same thing out at the same time. It's crazy. To the best of our knowledge, at least 23 individuals died of heart attacks. But these victims were different from Kira's previous targets. They were all alleged criminals, ex-convicts, or suspects in ongoing investigations. So legally speaking, they were innocent. That's true. What this indicates is that Kira had to manipulate these lesser criminals in order to kill those FBI agents. He killed that many people so he'd be unable to tell the decoys from those who were actually used. Jesus. In truth, he probably only needed a few. He waited eight days so the FBI could investigate other suspects, which meant there'd be no timeline linking him to their deaths. I suspect the FBI between the 14th Mm-hmm. He's narrowing it down. In fact, I have no doubt. Right. They're amazed. And they contain additional information you might find useful. For obvious reasons, you're not permitted to take these out of this room, but... Amazing! There might only be five of us, but with this much information, we should be able to cover a lot of... Oh, they cut them off again. Uh-oh. team traces the FBI agents. The other looks at the heart attack victims. There weren't that many people who had access to information from headquarters, and of those, the FBI only investigated a small group in the first five days. Yeah. Yeah. So... Does anyone have any questions? Earlier about how you hate to lose. Does the fact that you've shown us your face mean that you've lost? By just being here, are you admitting defeat to Kira? That's right. By showing my face to you now and by sacrificing the lives of 12 FBI agents, I have lost the battle. Mm. But I'm not going to lose the war. Ooh. This is the first time I've ever put my life on the line. I want to show Kira that we're all willing to risk our lives if that's what it takes. <laughs> And that justice will prevail no matter what. Hey, yeah, that's right. I like the sound of that. We can do this. All right, then. Let's do this, Ryazaki. It was really him at first, but there's no mistaking it. This man is ill. Before we go any further, I have to be absolutely sure. I love the way he sits. <laughs> so I need to speak with each of you individually before you leave today. Huh. What's the deal? He still doesn't trust us? No, I think it's a fair request. Try to see it from his perspective. Kira's been getting information from our headquarters from the very beginning. So there's a good chance that he's one of us. She's right. Working this case has given us a chance to see him in person. He's risking his life to be here. They're enamored by Al. Things are going well. Just one clue. A single decisive factor is all I need. Ray Pember. Just one oversight. A single piece of evidence <laughs> is all that would take. It could cost me life just one thing i love the fact that the two of them again the, the i know that's the crux of the show is that they're kind of they're mirror images of each other and they're figuring out the same thing and thinking about the same strategy at the same time and going hmm one thing if i screw up this one thing lights thinking then there's one thing out there that i might get caught on i gotta figure out what it is 
And I was like, there's one thing out there that he screwed up, and I gotta figure out what it is to catch this son of a bitch. I like this. If all goes well, maybe I'll find Kira before El does. Find him before El does? As I thought, there's no one at headquarters. You're gonna to have to trust me on this, ma'am. I'll be sure to give them your message as soon as I see them, I promise. That's not good enough. I have to tell them in person. Excuse me. My father is actually in charge of the Kira investigation. If you'd like, I could pass your message on to him. His cell phone is off at the moment, but I should be able to contact him soon. A number of FBI agents were just killed, and a lot of detectives have quit the case because they're afraid of Kira. Why are you talking about this out in the open? Right. He has no idea. Well, he knows something about her. See it in her eyes. She's a wise and careful person. You heard about what happened, and you must have figured out that the police had a leak of some kind, and that's why you wanted to tell them in person. You thought this through. Well, am I right? I'm sure my father will be calling me back once he checks his messages. When he does, I'll give you the phone and let you talk to him. You sure that's all right? Oh, well, yeah. It's probably not a good idea, Lake. I can't just give you my father's cell phone number, but I have no problem letting you use my phone to talk to him. You'll have to trust my father and I, which I hope won't be too difficult for you. <laughs> Why is he so happy? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> she walked right into that one, didn't she? Yeah, I don't know if I like where this is going. Otherwise, I'm afraid they'll just write me off. Uh, wouldn't it be better if your friend spoke to them instead? It probably would, but he's no longer alive. One of the 12 FBI agents who came to Japan to investigate Kira. Uh-oh. An FBI agent who met Kira? Could it be? You see, he was also my fiance. No. Ah, jeez. Right, right, right. She's right. That's yeah, right. That's right. Because now, now she, now she's let it out. Now, out light knows, and now she's screwed. Sorry to hear that he passed away. So, what makes you think he met Kid on that bus? Don't say anything else. Because eight days after that bus was hijacked. He died, along with the Then he dies in an accident, just like that. I said that when we were watching that episode, like, somebody's going to figure that out. Like, it's not a coincidence this guy just happens to die like that. Look at the light is pissed. Look at his face. Regarding the identities of the other FBI agents so he could get rid of them all. Anyway, what stands out to me is that the hijacker died in an accident. In other words, it suggests that heart attacks aren't the only way Cheetah can kill people. Damn, she is letting too much information loose here. He is pissed off, dude. Look at him. You're the only one who knows any of this, and you want nothing more than to avenge your fiance by bringing Kida to justice, right? And now you're convinced that Kida can kill without using a heart attack. Yes. There's no doubt in my mind your deductive skills are excellent. Uh -huh. I can't deny that you have a personal interest in the case. Still, your theory is worth looking into. That's for sure. Try to butter up, like. It could be central to the case. It could. If what you're telling me is true, then it'll only be a matter of time before the police catch up with Kira. The person your fiancé showed his ID to on the bus that day, it had to be Kira. That's right. Okay. So you've corroborated her. He, he's playing her. I forgot. That was close. She'd spoken to the police before I met her, but it seems there's a god on my side after all, and not just a god of death. You are a sicko. Uh, so, so she's given up way too much information here to light. I, you know, I, I, I get it. He presented himself. He's the son of the police chief. He knows the case. So he kind of verified that by, and he did that on purpose, obviously. But even still, if I was her, I would have kept some of that information to myself, especially the fact that you were the fiance of one of the FBI agents that died and then giving up your theory to this kid who, you you know, who says he's the police chief. Well, the, the other officers confirmed it, but 
I wouldn't have been giving up that information so easily. I would have waited to say this is class. I mean, and, and out on the street, they're just walking down the street. You know, anybody could have overheard this, and they could have, you know, anyway. Um, Light is impressed with her with her deductive skills, but he is. He, you can see how he's kind of using because we remember from the other episode that she kind of wanted to be back on the force, and Ray Pember, her fiance, was like, "No, you should be barefoot and pregnant, and you know, <laughs> having my kids." She wants to be back in the game. And she's got that bug, you know, she's she's figuring stuff out and she's got the taste for the, the, doing this detective work again. And Light is playing on that ego, you know, trying to, oh, you could be on the task force too. So, um, yeah, this this should be interesting. It's really, again, I vaguely remember bits and pieces of this anime. Um, I remember she's significant for some reason. I don't remember why, but she's got a lot of information. But um, she's given fake names, you know, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know how this is going to, to play out here. I I don't think... I don't I don't think he gets caught this early. Or does he get caught? I, I can't remember. But that's part of the fun of doing these re-reviews, re-watches, uh, live reactions. Because half of this damn show, I've forgotten how it happened. But I want to know what you guys thought about this episode of Death Note. Let your voice be heard in the comment box below. And until next time, I will see you guys for more reactions to Death Note and other shows here on The Rant and Review. Have a good day.